somebody else Hand in hand with civilization like a magical magical moment I remember the gig it was I suppose it was it's kind of like when the universe lines up and just everything's right you know the first album and stuff everything was right and it was just incredible it was incredible and really exciting and I feel like 
now, as I'm a bit older now, obviously, um, I feel like I, I can enjoy I can enjoy it more now because like then it was so intense and the popularity was just so intense to deal with that it was um, quite hard for me. But now I enjoy um, meeting people and taking photos and all of those things. Like Ollie says, it's, it's quite overwhelming sometimes, you know? And um, it just seems like in Indonesia there, there is this kind of uh, connection above all others, you know, that like the people here just seem to really respect um, kind of your musical journey and they don't discredit anything that you've done previously and it's like, you know, that there is it's still, there's so many people that still come up to us all the time and say how much like it meant through that time of their life listening to that, that album and, and our music. And that's really humbling, you know, really amazing to hear that, you know, something that you've done can have influenced someone for so many years still. It's really amazing that, that there is that level of um, commitment and, and loyalty, you know, um, with the fans. And that, that to us is uh, just amazing, really amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, often running into people, you know, like, and uh, over the past few years, meeting lots of musicians, you know, and, and hanging out with them. I mean, uh, Regina, Indonesian Idol, she's a good friend. Amazingly talented musician and singer, um, uh, Noella, Vidi, you know, like, I, I listen to a lot of Indonesian music actually as well, like, I've got like, uh, Noah, um, Sampanti Kambaran, Sampanti Kambaran. I love that track, that track is... Ollie gets quite annoyed sometimes when I hum it in the car, <laughs> and I, I, I can't help it, but it, just, it, it stays stuck in there, you know. <laughs> well, I sort of just, yeah, to be honest, I sort of seem to hear, like, Matt plays more to me, Matt plays stuff like the Noah track and stuff, and I sort of just filter it off of what he's hearing. I sort of, like, get into it after a while. Um, you know, I, I actually enjoyed working with the Indonesian musicians that we recorded on um, yeah. Gebya Gebya. We sort of recorded a gamelan player, doo -doo -doo, and we recorded like a flute player, and um, that was awesome. Like, that was great. I love like hearing traditional Balinese and Indonesian instruments. It's awesome. Like, if we can do more stuff like that, it'd be great. Yeah. Um, when, when we were playing at the inauguration, the president's inauguration at the end of the, last year, we um, decided it would be really cool to sing an Indonesian song. Because like the crowd is not Arcana fans, right? It's like Indonesians, it's like true Indonesians. So when we got asked to play, we thought it would be re like relevant for us to do an Indonesian song. And we heard like a handful of like different like famous Indonesian songs that were kind of patriotic. And when we heard Gibya Gibya, we were, um, it's just like, it's like the, so the simplicity and like how anthemic it sounds, it just sounds so powerful. In fact, even without really understanding the words, it's still powerful, like just like musically. Um, and so it really stood out to us. And also for me, um, as like a Western, somebody that doesn't speak Indonesian, it sounds like it didn't sound too complicated. I say that, but actually when I came around to doing it, I found out that it is actually quite complicated and quite difficult to pronounce. But I worked on it for a long time and I kind of um, feel that I've done my best. And I like with the pronunciation and I kind of feel people seem to tell me that I did quite a good job. So I'm very happy and people seem to respond really well to it. So I'm satisfied.